Okay, we're doing a review. This is Unit 7 or 7.5 of uh, Math 56, the WAMAP um, unit, the second test. So normally it's the final. Depends on where you're at at WAMAP. Um, this problem is uh, we're looking at a polynomial and we have to do some operations like multiplication, addition, subtraction. And so uh, one of the key words for this will be combine like terms. Combine like terms. And then another polynomial and operations. So usually the four operations are multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So let me write this out. Uh, we've got 2 times 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 4 and then minus I'm going to have to write really small 2x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals what? You know, how many x cubes, how many x squared, how many x's and lastly how many constants, right? So um, this is a cubic expression, cubic expression. And I think most of you have heard of quadratic equations or quadratic expressions. It's based on the degree, the highest degree um, in the expression, and that is this exponent. Something to the third power is a cube, and that comes from the, the shape of a cube. If you've got a, a cube, this is not to scale. But if these sides are each three, then the volume of this cube is going to be three times three times three. So it'll be 27 cubic units. And that's why we get um, a cubic expression. Okay. So that'll mainly be important um, when we are combining like terms. Okay. So what I want to do is just multiply out this first one, and we're going to distribute. So oops, you could do uh, another search term is the distributive property. Distributive property. And what that is, basically, you take the number when you're multiplying something by a whole expression in parentheses. Um, these terms cannot be combined because they are not the same, right? If you think of x cubed, x squared, and x as units, these are all different units, so they can't be combined until we know what x is. So until that point, we have to keep them all separated. But multiplication, we can multiply the two, we can distribute it over all of these elements, and this is a positive two we're working with on this side. So we're gonna say, I'm gonna write it down here, we're gonna get two times two x squared gives us four, oh, sorry, that's two x cubed, gives us 4x cubed, and then 2 times positive 2x squared gives us positive 4x squared, and then 2 times negative 5x gives us negative 10x, and then 2 times positive 4 gives us positive 8. All right, so that's the first one. And then the second one, I'm going to, because it's getting crowded, I'm going to write below, but I'm going to get a different color. So here we have... Um, we are subtracting this whole thing. So I'm going to suggest thinking of that negative sign as a negative 1, or if you really believe, you can uh, just use it as a, uh, you can take a negative sign and distribute it over um, all of the elements. And it's kind of like a multiplication operation. If you were thinking you're multiplying by negative 1, Anyway, we're going to make this uh, negative 2x squared, and I'm going to just write it under here, under the, the same terms. We've got like terms, right? So this idea of like terms is really important. So x squared is the unit, so we can um, write those under each other. And then we've got a negative times a positive 2x is a negative 2x. And then we've got a negative times a negative 3, well, a negative times a negative is a positive, so we're going to have positive 3. And then we can actually just 
do this like regular addition or subtraction. 4x cubed plus 0. Let's change colors again just because I can. 4x cubed plus 0, of course, is 4x cubed. And there is an actual property, the uh, additive property of 0, that any uh, 0 added to any number or the inverse subtracted from any number leaves the original number. So if we add 0 to 4x cubed, we're still going to have 4x cubed. And next we have 4x squared minus 2x squared. So that's going to be, that's going to leave positive 2x squared, right? So if you think of it as 4 minus 2, that gives us 2. 2 what? 2x two squared. Okay. Then we have a negative 10 minus 2, negative 10x minus 2x. So these are both negative. So that negative uh, negativity will get bigger. And so we're going to end up with minus 12x and then two positives, positive 8 plus 3 plus 11. Okay. And I'm just going to put in here negative numbers. Negative numbers. Um, it's part of the arithmetic course at Khan. Or you can also go to integers. And this will just be whole numbers, but they can have any sign. They could be positive or negative or zero. So those are a couple more search terms. So I think now with this, we have enough for our answer. Let's see if we can plug it in over here. So we've got four x cubes, right? And then next to that, we have how many x squareds? Positive two. And um, be careful when you put in your answers because they have plus signs between each of these. But if um, if you've got a negative, you're going to have to remember to put in your negative sign, negative 12, and then the x is already written here. And then the last one is plus 11. So um, we'll do a final check here. 4x cubed plus 2x squared uh, plus negative 12x, which is the same as minus 12x, so that's good plus 11. Okay, so that should work. Um, let's see how it looks. Oh, nice. Green. Okay, so um, as usual, I'm going to click this to give you another similar problem that you can work and um, try not to look at these notes, but if you need to, that's what they're here for, and just work several similar problems until you feel comfortable uh, adding, subtracting, and multiplying like terms. Here's the problem. 